Louis, this is silly. Where are you taking me? Relax, we're there. And can I take off this blindfold? No, nope, not until you guess exactly where we are right now. We're in my new office. What the, f how could you know that? Because you told me I'd make senior partner next quarter and it's next quarter. Now can I take this blindfold off? Holy shit, you just suck the fun out of everything, don't you? In that case, I have dreamt about making senior partner since I was nine years old. You not only fought for me to get this, I wouldn't even be at this firm without you. And on top of all that, Louis, this office is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. All right, I was wrong. You don't suck the fun out of anything. Thank you, Louis. Thank you for fighting for me. Good morning, Katrina. Can I help you with something? If this conversation goes as planned, you're going to be helping me with a lot of things. I don't understand. I just made senior partner. So it's official? It's official. And as my first act, Brian Simon Altman, will you be my associate? Katrina, I'm honored. But before I answer, are you sure the two of us working so closely together is a good idea? What? I mean, we become good friends. So it might get complicated if I officially work for you. I appreciate that, Brian, but I'm okay with it if you are. In that case, I would love to be your associate. Then I suggest we start with some ground rules. First, every day you get here before everyone else. Done. Next, power ties only, not any of the ties I have ever seen you wear. Been meaning to replace my entire collection anyway. Finally, I don't want a yes man. So I don't care what the topic is. If you disagree with me, I want you to push back whether it'll piss me off or not. Are we clear? If I say yes to that, that would mean I'm being a yes man, so I don't know what to do right now. I'll tell you what you're gonna do. You're gonna help me win the case that's gonna put us on the map. This is a bunch of bullshit. I take it that means you're up to speed? I'm not just up to speed, I know more about women's clothing than I ever thought possible. Then you know high-rise fashion has been ripping off our clients' designs. I do. The thing I don't know is how we're gonna stop them, because copyright laws are notoriously vague. Which is why when we win, it's going to make a statement. Then since I'm not supposed to be a yes man, I have to ask, are you sure you don't want our first case to be a guaranteed win? Okay, the truth is, I'm not just doing this to make a statement. I'm also doing it because the designer's my friend. Which means this case is personal. And I told myself that when I had enough clout to pick my cases, I would pick hers. In that case, why don't you tell me what her first move is? Easy. Tomorrow morning, you slap them with this. Those are lovely. Whose are they? I'm sorry? She means who designed them, since we know your people didn't. Just like they didn't design this, or this, or this. I don't know who you are, but these items were all part of our last spring line, and we designed them ourselves. What you mean is you copied my client's designs, then beat her to market and undercut her price. I see what this is, because I've seen it before. And no associate at some middling law firm is going to shake me down. I'm not an associate, I'm a senior partner. And this isn't a shakedown, it's a chance at a settlement before we clean you out in court. Then file your suit, because it's a thin line between theft and inspiration, particularly in a creative industry where people have similar ideas all the time. My lawyers have assured me of that. Have they also told you about Johnson v. Olympia Records? Because a songwriter was awarded 15 million for plagiarized work in exactly the same situation. And since precedents can cross industries, in particular the creative ones. We thought 15 million dollars for our clients' designs would be fair. We'll give you 24 hours to consult your lawyers. After that, we'll see you in court.